Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling and really appreciate you guys watching today's video and making some time for it. Guys, today we are going to talk about the unwritten rules of tournament fishing for both pro anglers and co-anglers. And, um, you know, we've touched on this a little bit in the past. I haven't done both co's and pros at the same time. But since tournament season's pretty much wrapped up with, I thought it'd be a good chance to refresh everybody as far as these, what these rules are. And actually, the, the unwritten rules, in my opinion, should be rules in tournaments. And I'll explain why, but I'm going to go over with you guys and give you my opinion <clears throat> from uh, after fishing over 500 bass tournaments myself, what I think about that. Um, also, guys, for getting started here, just a couple quick, couple quick housekeeping tips. Um, we got our, our winter lake map breakdowns up on fishingmoment.com if you'd like to check them out. <clears throat> These are great resources for your A-rig fishing, jerkbait fishing, little swim bait fishing all winter long. I'll put the link in the description with that. And also, guys, I'll put my uh, generic tackle warehouse link in the description if you guys are interested in supporting the channel and you need some uh, fishing tackle from Tackle Warehouse, if you use that link, it's a good way to support the channel. So thank you very much for that. Okay, guys, we'll talk about pro and co-anglers both as far as un unwritten rules, what the, what the deal is with them. First of all, I want to talk about the co-anglers a little bit, and then we'll get into the pros. Here's some unwritten rules that you really need to follow if you're a co-angler out there. It's going to make your experience a much better time on the water because when you're when you draw a pro out in a tournament, it can be a great experience for you, but for you both, or it can be a miserable experience. Basically, basically, depend depending on how you treat each other. Now, you don't have a lot of control over what your pro does or <clears throat> how your pro is acting or something like that, <clears throat> but you do have control over how you're acting and what you do on the water out there. And here's some unwritten rules that will help you befriend your pro because if you follow these rules that I'm giving you right here. I can guarantee you that your pro will bend over backwards to help you out to catch more fish. And if you violate these rules, I can guarantee you they will make your day very difficult to catch fish. So it's well worth listening to this. First of all, guys, number one rule, and I think Rick Clunn said it, you know, the best. Pretend when you're a co-angler in the back of the boat, pretend the back of the boat is the front of the boat. In other words, throw out the back of the boat. Guys, all the dudes that I fished with that have won co-angler tournaments, I don't even know they're back there. If I get some guy that tries to throw up in front of the boat or, you know, cast in front, anywhere, anywhere in front of the boat, he never catches them. The guys that whack them out of the back of my boat cast behind the boat because they have a better angle. If you cast behind the boat, you basically are having the same angle that your pro has just from a different direction, which actually can be a benefit sometimes. So... Number one unwritten rule, guys, is just pretend that there's a line down the middle of the boat and that you can't cast past that line up towards the front of the boat. That should be an unwritten rule. Fish the water that you've got. Let your pro fish the water that he's got. Be a much better day for you guys. Second with that, if you're one of those guys that just can't help themselves and, you, and you've got to cast up front a little bit, never, ever cast to a piece of cover that your fit pro is fishing. I have this happen all the time, and it's probably the thing that makes me madder than anything at a co-angler, is if I flip a jig into a brush pile that's in front of me, say a lay down tree, I don't want to see their bait flip two or three feet next to mine. If I'm if my if my jig is in that is in that lay down tree, I do not want to see a bait coming anywhere near that tree until I'm done fishing with it. After I'm done fishing with it, go after it. You can have all you want. But uh, the biggest unwritten rule as far as when you're fishing cover, do not fish the same cover that your pro's trying to fish. If he's trying to fish around a boat dock, um, don't fish that same boat dock until he's done with it. Don't, and, and another thing is like, if the boat gets like at a cockeyed angle and allows you to hit part of that dock that you know the pro is gonna turn the boat around and fish, don't do that either out there. Chokum's consideration, he's the pro, he's worked hard, he's found these fish. You just need to fish out the back of the boat out there. That's gonna really, really, you know, make your day go a lot smoother. Second unwritten, unwritten rule is that you don't need to try to coach your pro or try to influence him mentally. Because if you try to, say for example, you're not catching fish and you, and you try to question your pro's decision-making process, you're undermining his 
plan. You're undermining his confidence. So if you have any any issues or concerns, just keep it to yourself. That's just part of being a co-angler out there. Follow those unwritten rules and it'll be a much smoother day with you guys. Now for the pros, a little bit different. Number one rule, guys, with a pro angler out there, well, there's not, there's a punt bunch of, but, but one of the main ones out there, never cut somebody off. It's like if you see somebody fishing down a bank, don't pull up in front of them, you know, 50 yards or 100 yards or 200 yards and start fishing if you know that pro is working down that same stretch of bank. Let's say, for example, if I pull up on a stretch of bank and I'm, and I'm working towards a point, say there's a point, you know, 50, 75 yards in front of me, don't be that guy that pulls up and fishes that point knowing that the, there's another guy working up there. If you want to fish that bank, get behind the guy and come in behind him. Show that courtesy up there and make sure that they're, now I'm not saying that somebody has a right to have miles of shoreline in front of them, but there's a distance that is, you don't want to encroach on that distance with that pro. And never, I don't care what you do, biggest unwritten rule, do not be one of those guys where you see some guy working down the bank like this and you pull up in front of him and start working towards him. That is a dick move right there. Just do not do that with that. And if you have any questions, say for example, it's a gray area and you don't know what the deal is, just roll up next to him and say, hey, you know, is it okay if I fish here or on that point or whatever up like that? At least show that courtesy with that. Another unwritten rule, guys, with the pros out there that you really need to pay attention to is um, the, the boat driving. Now, this is something that sort of goes off a little bit besides that, but your boat driving ought to be done with consideration of your partner in the boat with you. If you want to drive like a nut job and, and a, you know, run your back and, you know, have bulging discs in your neck out there, fine, but don't put your co-angler through that. Make sure that your co-angler gets to the spots that you're fishing and back and says that was a nice smooth ride. Even if it's rough, slow down, take it slow out there. It's just, you know, natural common courtesy and it should be a rule with that. Another unwritten rule, guys, is you do not encroach upon another angler if they've thrown you a bone. Let's say, for example, um, you're bouncing off some information with the guy out there and he's kind enough to tell you, you know, what he's doing in his pattern and he sort of lays it out, maybe the area that you're fishing, that he's fishing. So you can duplicate that pattern in a different area of the lake. Don't show up to where that guy can see you. Don't, don't undermine somebody's kindness because it's never going to happen again. If you don't, if you, if you don't respect the fact that he's, you know, trying to help you out a little bit, that's, that's never going to happen with that. So main thing guys, as far as the biggest unwritten rule with the pro out there is just, you know, be aware and be courteous of your fellow competitors out there. And, um, another thing with that is it, it goes, there's a lot of different scenarios and situations as far as it has to be worked out on the water. It's let's say for example, um, you, you're arguing about somebody fishing an area that shouldn't have been there or may have saw somebody fishing there and then wound up there and, and fishing there. Don't ever put yourself in the position where you go into an area and you fish that area simply because you've seen somebody else there and they're catching fish. Again, that is a dick move, but there can be a lot of um, extenuating circumstances and misunderstandings with this. I'll give you one example that happened to me that all that the uh, perfect example of a misunderstanding. I was fishing many years ago, it was a top 100 tournament down at the Potomac River in Maryland. And um, anyway, I started out every morning, I started out on this one grass bed. It was a, it was a small grass bed. It was only about as, I don't know, it's probably about as big as, a, a, I don't know, maybe half as big as a Walmart parking lot out there. And, uh, you know, probably, probably, you know, a couple acres. And there was one area on this particular place where the fish were set up at, and it was a ditch that came through this grass area. And I was the only one in there. And I started out every morning and I caught my limit there. Then I'd leave and go to a different area of the lake. So anyway, the first um, day of the tournament, after the first day of the tournament, a pro angler named Paul Elias, well-known pro, was leading the tournament. And um, I was, I can't remember, I was somewhere, you know, in the 20s or 30s like that. 
And I went out the next day and I went straight back to my spot where I caught him there and um, started fishing. And then uh, Paul pulled up and he goes, what are you doing here? This is where I'm leading the tournament at. It says, Paul, I didn't know that you were even fishing here. I said, I caught my limit here yesterday morning. I had no clue that you were here like that. And, you know, it was tense a little bit, but the the, the point of the matter is that was an honest, uh, not, it wasn't even a mistake, but it, but it was one of those things that happens in tournament fishing that's a misunderstanding. We finally worked it out. He, I was, I, he, I explained to him the time I was there. He knows he wasn't there at that time. He came in after I left and led the tournament out of that same spot. So um, from that standpoint, that does happen, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about where guys out there intentionally get into an area or fish an area that they shouldn't be in. And this happens a lot in grass areas. You see this happen a lot where there'll be somebody out in the middle of a big grass field, like down in Florida or maybe in Texas or somewhere. And then all of a sudden you see some guy running down the lake and then he turns directions and he goes over and sees somebody fishing over there, maybe sees him catching a fish. And the famous bent rod pattern where somebody sees somebody catching a fish, they veer over there and they start working to that area. That's something you don't want to do. An unwritten rule is you let, you let somebody have it. You don't encroach on somebody's area with that. But anyway, guys, that's just a few common ones. There's some smaller ones out there, but those are the ones that you, that you mainly want to avoid out there. And um, if you do that, everybody's experience is a lot better. Um, everybody maintains integrity in the sport and it just makes for a lot better day on the water. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. See you guys.